Welcome back. This is part three on how to crochet a cow tutorial. So real fast, I'm going to show you how to make the spots if you want to put spots on your cow. And then we're going to go ahead and assemble our cow. Okay, so to make the spots, you're going to take your black yarn and you're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. <clears throat> Go ahead and close that up. And then to finish, you're just going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into that first stitch. And then cut yourself a yarn tail and pull it through. And here's a spot. And you can make as many as these as you would like your cow to have. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the nostrils on the snout here. So get your black crochet thread. And we're just going to go ahead and put the little nostrils on your snout. So, I'm going to go ahead and in between the third row here and the fourth row is where we're going to go ahead and you're going to go in from behind, pull until it's almost all the way through, and you got your yarn tails back here and just keep your finger on it to hold it in place. And then just come up to the next row. <clears throat> and pull through. I'm going to go ahead and double that up there. And then we're going to go over about one, two, three stitches and do the same thing. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one three times. And then we're going to come back over to the first one you did and just do it one more time. So they each had three passes. And then go ahead and turn it inside out. Cut your crochet thread and just go ahead and tie these together. And there's your little snout. Okay. So the snout is actually going to be the first thing we attach. So go ahead and get a little bit of cotton, or stuffing. Make sure all your yarn tails are in there from the center. You can snip it shorter if you need to. <clears throat> Okay. okay, so to place the snout, I start at the top and I count down 10. Um, 
if you don't like where that looks, you can go like down a little bit or up a little bit, but just so you know where I place mine. And then you can use pins if you would like and pin it in place. Okay, so I'm going to go into this first stitch and down into the head and pop out just to get it where I want it. Okay, I'm going to go up through the head and then catch that next stitch. And come through and then go down into the next stitch and come down through and you can take pins out as you get closer I'm gonna go up into the next stitch And then down into the next stitch pop out through so just go ahead and continue this all the way around okay so you should now have your snout attached so the next thing that we're going to attach is the little nubs on top of the head so go ahead and get yours and make sure they're tight one final time and then go ahead and snip the center yarn tail the starting yarn tail a little bit shorter. Okay. We're also going to put just the tiniest little bit of stuffing in them. Not too much at all. Alright, so where we're going to place these is right in between row 1 and 2, just like such. So go ahead and place yours on there. Pin it down and then go ahead and place your other one on there. Sure it's even here. All right. Now just the same way we attached the snout here. We're going to do the same thing with these little nubs. So just go into the next stitch and into the head and then pop out through and then go back to the next stitch. And you can take out the pins as you go. And just go ahead and continue doing that all the way around for both your little nubs and I'll meet you back here after they're both attached. Okay, so you should now have both your nubs attached and your snout. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the ears. Okay, so the ears we're going to go ahead and do one at a time and you're going to put them about two stitches down from the nubs or just if wherever it looks good on yours if you like them to be higher lower but 
I'm going to go about, let's see, I guess on this one how I attach this, it's about two and a half because you got about half a stitch here or half a row here and then two full rows. So, and make them kind of even, try to go right down the middle of your little nub here. I'm going to go ahead and pin this down. See, that's where I'm going to put the first ear here. So go ahead and find your next stitch and then just take it straight into the row in between the rows where you want it to be. And then just like we have been doing, you're just gonna go back through the head into the next stitch, taking out pins as you go, and then just keep going down this way in the same manner. Okay, so I get this one ear attached. Okay, so now that you have one ear attached, you just want to go ahead and match up your second ear in the same spot. So you can just kind of eyeball it here, make sure it looks even, make sure it's in the middle of the nub and then pin it down. And then we're just going to go ahead and attach it the same way we attach the other ear. So I'll meet you back here once both ears are attached. Okay, so we now have both ears attached. We have both nubs attached in the snout. So we're going to go ahead and start attaching the arms. So with the arms, before you attach them to the body, we're going to use the yarn tail to seal up the arm. So you get your yarn tail, just go ahead and go into the top loops here and just go back and forth like this, sealing up the arm. Okay, so now the arm is sealed, we're going to go ahead and attach it. If you want to count, it's about 20 rows down where we're going to attach it. And we're going to attach it, if you can see from the ear, it's about right here. It's not completely in the middle of the arm. So if you want, you can pin it. I'm not going to pin it. I'm just going to 
freehand it. But you're just gonna go ahead and attach the arm to the body, just like we have been. You can do as many passes as you like. If you know you're making this for a younger child who may be a little bit rougher on toys, pulling on the arms and stuff, you can go ahead and do a few passes on here just to make sure it's nice and secured. So once you're satisfied with how it's secured, you can just go ahead and knot off, and then we'll go ahead and do the other arm. So same thing, just make sure you seal off this arm. And now you want to make sure that it matches up with the arm that you already attached. Okay, so once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and attach it.
All right, so now we got both arms attached. So let's go ahead and attach our legs. Okay, so the legs really don't need to count down or anything. You're just gonna put them right up underneath the cow and I leave about pretty much just that center in between them like such so you can do one at a time and pin it down We'll go ahead and attach this. We're just attaching it the same way we have been this whole tutorial. Okay, so my leg is attached. Um, just the same thing I said with the arms. If you're making this for a younger child who may be like really rough on the toy, you can always go back around one more time just to kind of double it up. But this is pretty secure, just one pass through. So I'm going to have to knot this off here. Okay, so we're going to attach this other leg, and we're just going to measure it up with the leg that you already have attached here. Make it even with that.
can look at it. It looks pretty even to me. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it. All right. All right. So here's our cow so far. Coming along real nicely. So let's go ahead and attach the udders. So if you haven't already, go ahead and trim these little yarn tails. And then you're just gonna take a little bit of stuffing place it in there and then just see where it looks best on yours so with mine I think I'm liking it about right here I'll go ahead and put the pins in here Okay, so if this was with mine, I did my arm about 20 stitches down, so 21, 22, 23, 24. The udder is about 24 stitches down. Let's go ahead and attach it. And we're just attaching the same way we have been this whole time.
right. So now your udders are attached here. Snip that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and attach the tail now. So wherever you think it looks best, mine's looking best about 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, about 28 stitches down. So you're just going to go in to the body and then come right back. Just a stitch over and get right in the center here and take that down and then leave this tail over. and then you're going to take your other yarn tail you're going to go into the body and you're going to come right back about a stitch over you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to grab a little bit of this tail and pull it over. So that is nice and attached there. I'm going to tie these yarn tails together. Go ahead and pull these yarn tails down through the bottom and snip them. So there is your tail. All right, so now you're going to take your spots, however many you may have made. And just go ahead and pin them wherever you would want them. So obviously go ahead and watch out for the pointy ends right there. And then just go ahead and attach it. Make sure you don't go through the uh, complete the arm. You just want to go to the inside, just one layer, because you don't want to see that black yarn when you pop through.
So there's one spot attached. And what I meant is if you lift it up, you can't see the black from that spot. So go ahead and attach all your spots. Okay, so we got our spots attached. Cow's completely assembled. So the final thing to do is just put the eyes. So I got my eyes placed where I like them and it's about two spaces up from where the snout is. So I'm going to go ahead and use a pin to mark where I want that eye to be. I'm going to put some glue on the end of your eye. And then I just kind of twist and wiggle this in here. And there's one eye in. Alright, and then just kind of hold your eyes down for a little bit, and then you're going to set your cow aside for the recommended drying time. This one, this glue that I'm using is, I think it's four hours, uh, two to four hours, if you can see. But there is our cow. So I hope you've enjoyed making this. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video and I will be coming up with more designs soon. So, thanks for watching!